Bev Sellers is a survivor of the residential schools which ran from the 1840s until 1996. She was born in Soda Creek, British Columbia in 1955. She attended St. Joseph Residential School, where the girls were not allowed to mix with the boys. Each student at her school was labeled with a number. She was number one. That inspired the title of her book, They Called Me Number One, about her years in residential school. She suffered from depression, and at the age of 17, she tried to kill herself by overdosing on sleeping pills. Residential schools in Canada were started by the first Prime Minister of the country, Sir John A. Macdonald. A report conducted by Nicholas Davin recommended that the Government of Canada should separate Indigenous children from their families in order to civilize them. There were 133 schools that were ran by the churches. Bev and other students suffered physical and mental abuse, as well as forced labor. They were not permitted to speak their own language and had to adapt to a new culture. She lived in immense fear. Classmates were murdered and some became addicted to drugs and alcohol. There was a 40-60% to 60 mortality rate in these schools and 6,000 children ended up dying. The principal of St. Joseph's School sexually abused her and many other children. Bev considers jails as being a step up compared to residential schools. In 1920, Prime Minister Duncan Scott made attendance at these schools mandatory for children between the ages of 6 and 16. Bev knew two classmates who tried to escape from her school, but they were brought back by the RCMP. The last school to close was Gordon's Indian Residential School in 1996, located in Saskatchewan. The negative impact of the schools were passed down from residential school survivors to their children and grandchildren, and included addiction, a feeling of worthlessness, teenage pregnancy, and an increase in depression and suicide. An official apology was made to residential school survivors in 2008 by the 28th Prime Minister of Canada, Stephen Harper. Bev studied history at the University of Victoria and then studied law at the University of British Columbia. She was elected chief of the First Nations tribe in 1987 and served as an advisor to the British Columbia Treaty Commission. Her book won the 2014 George Riga Award for Social Awareness and was shortlisted for the 2014 Hubert Evans Nonfiction Prize.